commanders and welcome to a new episode of the rise of the ottoman empire series again with more action but today is naval action myanmar is going all out attack he is sending a full stack of max level destroyers to the mediterranean sea but unlucky for him he has been intercepted romania is meeting him with our elite battle group with my support with my cruisers i made few cruisers later on after i uh, developed my naval base again in the city of limassol the last episode was about Operation Armageddon on the capital Riyadh, but one single assault, it was perfect, it was successful, a lot of green casualties, a lot of... I, we killed everything basically, but not yet. We still have a lot of land targets that we need to deal, to deal with. So, today we are going to continue these air assaults. First, I'm going to send my elite uh, helicopter wing for healing a little bit in my capital Ankara because it has been a bit damaged. I don't want it to be killed or lose any elite helicopters. This is why I'm gonna send them back an evening at least to heal. And later on, we are going to skip in the video, of course, editing. We are going to skip and get to the business and show you how our elite helicopters they are going to continue Operation Armageddon on the capital area of Saudi Arabia. Capital area needs to fall today. You know why? Because it's super important for the Asian coalition as it presents the base of operations. They are using that airfield to send all of their land armies, to send everything they have. So Riyadh needs to be taken down. I just wanted to show you the African front. The African front we did a huge advancement there you see I have I have been using my elite attack squadron because Philippines has been sending few infantry he also sent me his elite infantry division so I basically had to send my elite attack aircrafts there to intercept him and get as much lands as possible the Myanmar stack of destroyers has been killed by the Romanian elite battle group and now you see that India has multiple rocket launchers in the capital area equipped with anti-missile system. So it's our mission today to send our elite helicopter to deal with it. Okay, this is the first assault. I'm trying here to intercept the Philippine infantry division as it has been taking some provinces. You see there, my elite attack aircrafts are doing the job correct correctly. What did we kill? We killed one national guard. Only? Only one National Guard? Well, that's, that's a bit weird. Maybe his stack has a lot of damage distribution. That's why we only killed one National Guard. After all, the infantry division or the infantry officer has a lot of hit points. So yeah, he will absorb a lot of damage. The Romanian land forces, they are on standby waiting for a great chance to advance. I did my best. I did my best to uh, send my national guards, of course, covering them with my stealth and security fighters with some helicopter assaults in order to get some provinces before Riyadh. That's the path for Romania to take. Okay, the Filipini infantry uh, officer has been taken down. Now we can move to the next target. North Africa is ours. We are going to do our best to claim those lands and keep them ours. That's why the presence of my air force in North Africa is always is permanent there because as soon as I send back my air, uh, my uh, aircraft to Ankara, the Asian coalition is going to aim uh, to uh, recover North Africa, the African sub-Sahara. Okay, Operation Armageddon is live again. My elite, uh, my elite helicopter wing is uh, on its way for the capital area. I'm going to do some scouting using my stealth air security fighters to see what do we have there. I will advance my AUX to give me better vision. It's on its way already, my AUX. So I'm gonna wait a little bit for, for it to give me the required vision on the capital yard and see what are we going to deal with. Okay, the patrol circle has been established always with the edge of the blue circle to avoid any fire from mobile on the air you see these are the land targets they still have a fortress around area 
I will only focus on the land target in Iriad as I know it's an Indian multiple rocket launchers and anti-missile. If we manage to kill that anti-missile, Romania can still send few cruise missiles on the other targets. So first we need to hunt for the anti-missile systems. Okay, few seconds until impact. Are we going to see more green notifications? Yes, yes, yes. After 81 game days, finally, we are doing a difference here. Finally, we are killing them, destroying them to ashes. It was all about perseverance and determination and strategy and patience, more importantly, because this war has taken ages. We killed one theater defense system of India. Two air superiority fighters and two motorized infantries of Myanmar. And we killed two superiority fighters of Pakistan. That's what we call a golden airstrike. That's what we call a successful operation. What we called it Operation Armageddon. This operation is, it is indeed currently doing a huge difference in this series, in this game. Guys. I hope you are satisfied with these airstrikes. Like, what we are witnessing today is legendary. It's something beautiful for the eyes. Something you never see in public maps. Such a war, you never see it in public normal map. Guys, we only saw such wars like this in battle royales or elite uh, competitions or, or in uh, coalition games, um, in alliance wars, of course. But seeing this warfare, this apocalypse in a public game with random players that I do not know is legendary. Something that doesn't happen every day. Another strike now. Our elite helicopter has gone refueling and now it's coming back and let's see again. I need to kill everything in the capture yard. And of course we are going to witness another green notification and finally we got rid of the indian multiple rocket launcher myanmar is sending me a ballistic nuclear missile they are targeting my uh, airfields that i'm operating from he is sending a ballistic missile on uh, my um, my airfield north of uh, syria he is targeting my airfield in syria south of aleppo uh, now I'm sending back my elite uh, helicopter wing for healing because it, it received a decent amount of damage after all and the Operation Armageddon was 100% success as we killed all kinds of units in Riyadh but what is... oh! Ooh, look at that guys! Pakistan is sending a level 4 ICBM on the airfield that my helicopters are going back to refuel well this is bad this is this is bad this is a deja vu about what happened to my helicopters in the mid game you remember guys how i lost two stacks of attack helicopters to an icbm that has fallen on my airfield while they were refueling looks like oh this is bad my helicopters need to go back, refueling in that airfield, and now there is an ICBM falling on me. Oh god, this is bad. The Myanmar ballistic missile has landed successfully on my airfield, it has been destroyed. And the Pakistani ICBM is falling on my helicopters, I can't believe this. Why? Why this keep on happening to me? Why? Check this out, guys! I can't believe it. Oh, wait! It is in the range of our anti-missiles! Yes! Yes! <laughs> it is in the range of our missiles, of our anti-missile systems, and it has been intercepted! Yes! Thank you, Romania! Oh, God! Whoa! <laughs> I was stressed out about that! Oh, it's my only stack of helicopters! Imagine if I lost it! Thank you, Romania! <laughs> Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Thank you and bye-bye. We meet in the next one. Oh, I can't believe this.